Hello and welcome to Union San Carolina Sarasa. Happy Thursday, Feliz Jueves, and thank you for being with us today. And we began this hour with the race for 2020 and the Democratic shutdown. Candidates are heading home after back-to-back -back nights of debates. Today, we have complete coverage and on the highlights. These debates are likely the last time many of the candidates will see the stage in this presidential race. The next Democratic debate is set for September in Houston, and it will likely feature only half the candidates. Carolina, now back to you. Thank you, Andrea, for that report. And now let's go to Dan Sena. He's the former executive director of the DCCC, a group that works to elect Democrats to the House of Representatives. By Chris Wilson, a Republican poll. He has approved the nomination of Air Force. In the U.S., people in the Northeast are recovering today after severe storms overnight. Lightning, rain, winds, and flash floodings. Coming up, prosecutors are showing you evidence in court, and we'll come back to you. News time is running out before the governor of Puerto Rico, Ricardo Rosillo, steps down. As of now, it is not clear who will be the person to take over. Pedro Pierluisi was named the Secretary of State, but his nomination has been met with disapproval. Lorraine Casares explains. Pedro's nominee is not confirmed by the Senate and House. He would have to nominate someone else by the end of day tomorrow. Or else Wanda Vasquez, the Secretary of Justice, would have to take over. But as we've reported before, she doesn't want the job. So the likely scenario is that she'll have no other choice but to take over and then nominate another Secretary of State to later resign herself. Carolina, back to you. And she's also pretty close to Rosillo herself. Thank you so much, Lorraine, for that information. And now, multimillionaire and registered sex offender Jeffrey Epstein appeared in court on Wednesday. It was his. A new poll provides some insight into how Americans feel about ICE raids across the country intended to target undocumented migrants. Jaime Garcia has more details. The current policy to return migrants requesting asylum back to Mexico is already taking a toll. Thousands of people are filling up shelters at the border. Others have been taken to bigger cities like Mexico City and Monterrey, wandering the streets in search of help. Azul Alvarez has more. And coming up, struggling to survive a car. And this just in, President Trump announced that he will impose new tariffs on $300 billion in Chinese imports starting on September 1st. This effectively puts the tax on all Chinese goods coming into the U.S. And at least one person is dead after a gas explosion. In Iowa, police race to save a pair of rafters struggling in a river, holding on to their life after their raft went over a dam and even flipped. Elin Cardet has more on this story. One scratch in their heads. Jorge Hernandez has more. And even with a name and address, police have not been able to track down Harrell. How crazy is that story? And coming Venezuela, a teenager who lost his sight after being shot by a police during a protest has graduated from high school. As Azul Alvarez explains, in many ways, the young man is quickly becoming a symbol of resistance. And coming up, a recall alert for... And welcome back to you news. The U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission has issued a recall for some inclined sleepers for infants due to safety concerns. The ready FTC says so many people are asking for cash payments linked to the 2017 Equifax data breach. Joining me now is Bob Sullivan, an independent journalist and the host of the podcast Breach. Bob, welcome to you news. And welcome back to you news. It is finally Thursday. Miriam Maria is back. We missed you yesterday, Miriam. We're going to have a great story for us <laughs> yes. in the next couple of days. Mm -hmm. but what do you have for us in terms of entertainment news? Okay, so let's start with Mario Lopez, who has just apologized for controversial comments that he for her performance. Well, she was great in that series. Thank you so much, Media, for being back with us. And we'll see you guys tomorrow on Friday. Thank you for being here.